Hi. How's everyone doing? Um, I haven't done a vlog in a minute and I'm just feeling chatty today. So, let me go ahead and log these off. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, um, wow, I had so much in my head and then my brain went blank. I look cute today. I feel cute. I feel like I look pretty. You know? Um, I was just looking at a picture of my little sister. And she's 13. And I remember when I was 13. And she's wearing like this long sleeve shirt. And like this really loose summer dress over the top of it it's really cute it's like a little boho thing that's what they call it right and i was just thinking like when i was 13 i i had big old wings like big wings with like dark thick gel eyeliner you know like the dip and just thick dark eyebrows and I wore skinny jeans, so like tight, tight jeans and, and band t-shirts. My skinny jeans like were black or I had um, some white ones with like paint splatter and I had some purple ones. And then I had like big clunky shoes. I had some Osiris's. This was before, like, little skinny shoes were super popular, you know, like, Converse and Vans and stuff. Um, I did have a couple pairs of Converse, though, because they were, like, the emo thing. And I just, like, out of everyone that I see, like, all these teenagers, they don't even have emos anymore. That's not even a thing, you know? There's you no know, kids with, like, big, huge hair and crazy colors and making a statement I guess it's because it's so normal now to have like crazy colored hair and to it's like not cool to have a big hair anymore and everyone's like just doing like really natural looks you know and if they do makeup it's like really fun and pretty and like looks really elegant you know, it's not like thick and <laughs> fucked up <laughs> with like chunky looking eyelashes and stuff. It was, it was good. It was fun being one of those kids, you know, you were just different. People were scared of you. You were this terrifying thing and I just thought it, oh, I don't know, it was fun. I mean, all of us are really depressed, fucked up kid, like adults now, but I mean, it was fun. <laughs> and like, now it's like a, they're called like an e-girl thing, right? Like, but they're more elegant in a weird way. I mean, like, I don't know. I think that the whole generation is just, we're doing good things and also like weird things, but they just look much more elegant than we ever did. <laughs> like they just look, maybe not elegant, but they just look softer. They look so much softer than we looked as kids. And like maybe, I don't know, I have no idea. Cause my dad is still, still my dad. He hasn't really changed much, you know? He's, I mean, he's changed throughout the years, obviously, cause everyone changes a little bit, but he's still, that that Gen Xer, you know, like they didn't want titles and they were just trying to stick it to the man and fuck the government and anarchy and punk, heavy metal, grunge, it's like stuff like that. So I guess like that's that's what I was used to. It was like heck yeah, stick it to the man, fuck him, you know. <laughs> just did all the drugs that they could and now they do drugs, but it's like, they they have like, they have reason to, <laughs> and, but they like, they're smart about it, I guess. They're smart about it. 
usually sometimes they're not so smart or I don't know they a lot of them don't even smoke cigarettes my 13 year old sister like none of her friends smoke cigarettes they all smoke weed none of them smoke cigarettes though because they say cigarettes are nasty and I think that's crazy because when we were kids I just wanted to smoke cigarettes all the time that's cool it's a cool thing to do it's just so I don't know I'm just getting old I guess I'm only 23 but I feel like I'm getting old <laughs> I feel like I've just always been a very old soul though I'm always like 10 years older than I really am that's what I've always thought that's how it's always been well um I'm feeling good today everything feels really rad um, the beginning of the week was like, okay, kind of middle-ish, like probably like Wednesday, Thursday were bad days for me, but today I'm okay. Today I'm good. I'm going to go get the baby today. He's been with my mom for the week, so that's really, really exciting. I am very excited to see him. I've missed him a lot. It's been really, really nice having a break though. Like, I was able to do homework without any screaming or crying. I was able to, like, cook small dinners for just me and Dominic. We spent so much time together without any, like, kids screaming. And we just, like, watched TV and just got high and ate. <laughs> got to eat ice cream without having to share. It was, oh, it was so nice. I got to go to bed early. I know that's crazy, but the other night I went to bed at like 8 o'clock. And I was like, oh, heck yeah. Yeah, it's been nice. It's been really nice. It's been a really good break. A really good break. And I definitely feel like I needed this. And then we're going to go pick him up and we'll get right back into it. And it's going to be great because I had a break. It feels nice to have a break. Um, also, I haven't, like, I've been working out, but I haven't really been watching, kind of working out, okay, kind of. I haven't really been watching too much of what I eat, I'm, like, aware of how much I'm taking in a day. Um, but I haven't really gained any weight. I don't feel any heavier. Um, and I've also just been trying to, like, waist train a lot. So I've been doing a lot of waist training and, like, a lot of, like, weight lifting. So I'm building muscle and toning. So maybe that's why I don't feel like I've, I've gained or really lost any weight. I'm doing protein shakes. And I think, like, that's what's kept me at the weight I'm at. But I've just started trying to care more about the way that I feel. About the way that I look. I notice that when I'm having a good day, I'm more confident and I feel better about myself. So I'm trying to incorporate that into my bad days. So even if I'm not feeling too good, you know, like I'm mentally just kind of stuck, I'm still, I still try to tell myself good things in the mirror. And then like I read a lot of body positivity stuff and watched a lot of videos and Lizzo, you know, um, and just like a lot of them say to just like rub or touch or talk to like the parts that you don't like about yourself, um, just because they are you and you need to uh, appreciate them, you know? So I've, <laughs> it's weird as it sounds, I've been doing that. I've been like, every time like I feel insecure. I just like rub my belly because that's what I'm insecure about because I just try to remember that I carried a baby in there and I appreciate it for everything it's done and everything it does and then it's part of me and I like me and I talk to it <laughs> my jiggly thighs and everything and it's been really good I feel really good I feel way better and I've just been putting on makeup, even if it's in the middle of the day, just because it's never been like um, an issue for the makeup thing with me, because I feel like makeup's for you anyways. I've never been one of those girls. It's like, oh, I have to put makeup on. <laughs> He's going to be home or I'm going to go out. 
sometimes I'll go out without makeup on. The makeup's for me. It makes me feel better. And so sometimes I just do it in the middle of the day because I want to try out some new colors or, you know. I'm going to fix my hair. I was going to go get a haircut, but I, I think I'm just going to try and keep it as long as I can. I do like short hair though. I really do. But I'm just going to try and keep it long. Um, worst case scenario, I'll go Rachel Bob it because I like that. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to try and keep it long. I'm going to dye the back part of it brown and keep this orange part orange. I just got to touch it up, like get my roots and everything again. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I think it'll help me feel better because I've got like this weird color going on. Like it's pretty sometimes and then sometimes it just looks, just see how dead it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get it cut and trimmed up and it'll look really cute. Not cut, trimmed up, dyed, trimmed up a little bit. Get off those dead ends but then keep it as long as I can. Um, I'm kind of high right now, so just been kind of smoking all day and working and no, I don't really have any homework to do, so and I have, I have some, I haven't done any math, but it ruins my day. If anyone has any tips on how to make math not ruin your day, please let me know because I hate it. I hate every, every second, every second. It's awful. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, I think the last time I did a vlog, I wasn't drinking coffee. So did that for two weeks and then I was like, fuck, I need a coffee. <laughs> so I ended up getting some coffee and I drink coffee occasionally now. Like I haven't had coffee. I didn't have coffee Wednesday or Thursday um but I had and then last week I didn't have any coffee on Sunday but I had coffee Monday and Tuesday and then I had some coffee this morning and then I'll have coffee Saturday and then not Sunday and then start the week over again so it was just every once in a while when I feel like I really really need it um like tonight, I'm probably going to grab a coffee or something just because we're going to be driving and it's about a three hour drive. So I want to stay awake, obviously. Um, and the coffee this morning was just kind of like, felt like I just, I just needed a coffee. And it's good because coffee really genuinely makes me happy. So I just decided to just drink it because I brush my teeth every day and then as long as I'm not drinking it constantly, I think it's okay. See? I think they look pretty good. Still. So, it's been nice. Um, I bought a new song. See that? See how pretty that is? So I bought this. It's cute. Um... It's a cute little thing. I bought it. It was my first one that I've ever bought for myself, which is really exciting. It makes me happy. Um, I've been thinking about new tattoos. I don't know, just normal, I guess just normal stuff that I normally do anyways. <laughs> but I guess that's it. I guess that's all I really have to talk about right now. So... Thanks for listening. And again, if you have any tips to make math not ruin my day, please let me know. Message me. Comment. You can comment on these videos. I think I have the thing set where you can comment. <laughs> so, um, because fuck math. For real, dude. Fuck math. It's awful. Awful thing. Um, I'm gonna go back to work. So, thanks for listening, guys. We're watching, whatever. <laughs> Thanks.